Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gamecock fans, rumor has it Juice Wells going to enter the transfer portal. I don't know Juice's uh, academic. Uh, is he graduated? Maybe. Uh, I would think that's the only way he could transfer without having to sit out. So he would have to be a grad transfer. Uh, I'm assuming that's it. It's funny, it comes a day after Spencer Rattler declares for the NFL draft. So now, South Carolina definitely is gonna have to get into the transfer portal for some wide receivers with experience. Uh, look down our depth chart right now as far as wide receivers with experience. I mean, not a lot there, um, especially real playmakers. Uh, Juice Wells, of course, was the leading receiver for South Carolina back in 22, 23. He's had an injury all year, broken foot, had or toe or something, had to have some surgery, some pins put in, screws, whatnot. Really didn't play a lot this year. Only really saw him in the Georgia game where he got a touchdown early in the game and then was out. But that's the rumor has it right now. Juice Wells will enter the transfer portal. Uh, Shane Beamer, Justin Stepp, our wide receiver coach. Got to go to work. Going to have to find some talent. Going to... Uh, uh, I know Juice came in from James Madison. No one really expected him to be as good as he was, I don't guess. Everyone knew he was a talented wide receiver. I don't think anyone expected him to be one of the best. Um in the SEC when he was healthy in 22. But here we go. Transfer portal giveth, transfer portal taketh away. Let's see how Beamer can work his magic and Justin Step and get some wide receivers in at South Carolina and hopefully some guys that can make plays because with the loss of Xavier Leggett, now Rattler to the NFL, Juice Wells rumored to hit the transfer portal, uh, leaves some bare cupboards there in the wide receiver room. Don't get me wrong, uh, Nick Harbor. But Harbor, a lot of people don't understand, in the spring will be doing his track and field stuff. Not sure how much football practice he'll get in during that time because the kid wants to be in the Olympics. Understandable. Uh, some other younger guys are gonna have to step it up next year. Also, Omega Blake is a guy we look at that we think is really talented football player that'll have to step up for us next year. Um, don't know the status of Amarion Brown, whether he's returning, not returning. We, we really don't know till Monday uh, what a lot of these kids are going to do. Are they going to transfer out? Some of these guys don't, won't have the ability if they've transferred in to transfer out without having to sit with the way uh, transfer rules has been changed now. Uh, you know, you only get one free one. But anyway, we'll see. What can South Carolina get out there and find? What kind of news will be coming up? Is there some receivers out there that hit the transfer portal that will fit South Carolina's football and offensive system? But anyway, that's the latest, greatest news I got coming out of Gamecock camp. A rumor, Juice Wells to the transfer portal. And uh, what else can you say? It's going to be more. There will be more guys. Uh, just everyone uh, put your seatbelt on. It's going to be a ride. Anyway, Rooster Man back to work. I'll hear y'all later. Peace.